Hey guys, this is Al for George Rock, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a free game in the Google Play Store called Angry Birds Rio, one of the most popular games for Android ever and one of the newer iterations of it. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and jump into Angry Birds Rio itself. You know, see the icon is another Angry Bird, it says Rio on it. Jumping into the game, this is a landscape based game, again it's by Rovio Moto, Fox Digital Entertainment, Blue Sky. So just some logos there. Here's the loading screen, you can see Rio in the background. And here it's very, very, very similar to all the Angry Birds. You have little gear right here where you can turn on and off the sound and look at some information on the app. And then you have this little up arrow which will let you watch the video and go to their Facebook and Twitter. So really not too much going on. No real settings you can tweak which is unfortunate. But there's not really any settings you need to tweak considering this game is really well done. So tapping play you can see you can go to your word, uh, awards. You have all the different uh, worlds you have. You can get the regular Angry Birds. Uh, you can get Angry Birds Seasons as well. Go ahead and jumping into the first level here, you can see there are three stars you can attain on the level. And the point of this game is the point of every single Angry Birds game. So just to show you, uh, every level you go to they show you how to use the bird that you have. So what you want to do is use the slingshot, tap your bird, pull back, and then let go to fling your bird and you want to free all the birds from their respective cages. The graphics are extremely smooth, extremely fast, no lag or delay whatsoever. The game looks absolutely stunning on screens with higher resolutions, uh, which is really nice to see Angry Birds giving support there. When you beat a level, you get the amount of stars that you scored um, out of three. You can see you'll get your high score if you got one, and there's your score itself. You can jump back into all the levels, you can replay that level, or you can go to the next level. Now when you're actually playing the game, usually there'll be a little ad up here. You can see your score in the top right corner and the pause menu in the top left corner, which will allow you to restart the level, go to all the levels. Uh, this right here will actually close the pause menu, and then you can turn on and off the sound and some tips. So closing the pause menu, uh, you can see you do get pinched to zoom in and out. So if you're on a larger, uh, if you're on a phone with a larger screen or larger resolution and scrolling out actually doesn't downgrade quality really for you at all, you can do that. And there you go, you just want to fling the birds, free all the cages. Now you also want to try to break as much stuff as you can because for every item you break, you get a higher score. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to three star the levels. Now jumping back, one thing to also note is that when you actually keep birds, so if you don't use all your birds to beat a level, uh, which is something you want to make sure you try to do. Go ahead and show you one more strike. There we go. So kill as many. Now every single bird that you have left over, you'll actually get 10,000 points for. So you can see 10,000, 10,000 that's added to your score. So that helps you also be able to three star more levels. So that is the interface of Angry Birds. That's how you play. And there you go. Alright guys, so thanks for watching my review of Angry Birds Rio. Again, one of the most popular games in the Google Play Store with over 10 million downloads and an average 4.5 out of 5 star rating. If I were to rate this 1 through 10, I would give it a good 9. It's definitely very smooth in gameplay. There's no problems, no lag, no glitches. The game itself is pretty entertaining. I do um, think that they could add a few more levels, and I do also think that they could add a few more birds. But the birds they do have, they do work well, um, and they actually are pretty fun to use. I know I have a little brother who enjoys playing this, and I know I know some older people who enjoy playing this. So this really appeals to all ages. So that's my review. Thanks you guys for watching. Have a great day.